Hello everyone! You have searched out traveling watercolors and you found yourself at Spokane Art Supply, which we're in the middle of nowhere, and you're thinking, what do these guys know about traveling watercolor supplies? What are bundles and what are we talking about? So here's our theory. When we searched traveling watercolors, we would find like a thousand of the cheapest versions out there. And whatever retailer does, it doesn't really matter. Just the set, just the color, go, go, go. And then we'd find these treatises on these hand-forged, hand-poured, beautiful, one-of-a-kind watercolors, which are amazing, but they're really tough to sell, really tough to kind of get into. So we said, can we meet in the middle? Can we come up with a good value on color, put in a brush, some paper, everything you might need to get started um, in travel watercolor? It could be a gift for someone, it can be for you, it can be an add-on, it can be a, I don't know, an angry gift. I don't know, I don't know what you kids are doing these days. So I've got two here. This is what we call our basic travel bundle and our mini travel bundle. I'm going to tear them apart, show you what's in here and why we like what we put in here. So first off, this bag. We don't expect you, traveling artist, or who you're giving the gift to, the traveling artist, to necessarily use this bag. It's kind of big and bulky, and as soon as you take everything out of the out of the packaging, it fits kind of weird. But it's an awesome bag. It can take wear and tear. It's water resistant. It's just very cool. So no matter what you do, use the bag. It's very cool. So we pop this open, and this is mind you, the basic bundle comes with a bunch of stuff. Pre-mentioned bag, that kind of list of what's inside. But in our basic set, here we go. We've got paper. It's a field book, spiral bound, top goes up out of the way. You can work on it flat. You can work on its elongated version, very hip. It's a 140 pound paper. So it's got a nice snap to it, size to take your watercolors. But with that, hey, if you're traveling, you might also want a smaller version of those. Look at this little guy. Also 140 pound paper, lays flat. And paint on both sides. Good, heavy, heavy stock. Cold press, slightly textured surface, hard cover. It's got the little strap to it. It's got a little place for your brush too. Pretty hip. What we threw in for brushes. <laughs> I forgot to take these on. What we threw in for brushes is just a good set of brushes. Medium sized, three quarter inch, a bunch of smaller brushes. But we know you're traveling, so you might want to roll up bamboo roll up. You literally roll it out, put your brushes in, roll it up, tie it off. It travels with you. It's pretty hip. It lets your brushes dry as you travel. It's got a little space for air. Air circulates. You're not going to get any moldy, musty brushes there. Color. So we've got these koi watercolors. This happens to be an 18 piece set. There are larger sets. There are smaller sets. It kind of went kind of in between. Something that travels very well. It's not super huge, not super tiny. It's got this extra little pallet, a little feeder in here, nice and strong, so it's not gonna fall off on you. Just hang that guy right off the edge. Comes with a water brush, you fill this guy up, and you can just start, activate your watercolors. You can mix on either side. Everything goes back in, close it up, and you're ready to travel off again. Boom, bam, boom. We threw in a couple pencils, graphite pencil so you can draw your design out, water soluble pencil A to work on your design or just to add some flair. You can actually do an entire piece just with your water soluble pencil, hit it with that water brush, it kind of melts, very cool effect. Tossed in some permanent pigmented markers so you can do pen and ink, um, put down your design, put color into it or vice versa, color and then put some ink over the top of it. You can call yourself a pigment ink artist, a watercolor artist, a mixed media artist, water media artist. We don't care. Call yourself whatever you want. A uh, sharpener, eraser, a little spritzer in case you need to spritz down your paper want to get that wet on the wet effect. Literally everything you need to travel watercolor is in this one basic set. A bunch of very cool stuff. But let's say, hey, that's cool, but that's still kind of bulky. I want to travel travel. I want to go small. We made the mini set. Same idea, but we used a 12 set of watercolors. Same little book that we have over here, but then instead of uh, kind of a traditional watercolor field journal, we put this 808 sketch pad in 
sized. It can take pen and ink, it can take water, media, virtually anything you want to do to this bad boy. 60 pages, ton of paper, spiral bound, so you can flip it around and do what you want. And then we put all these kind of standard accoutrements, your water soluble, your, instead of a set of pens, we only threw in one, spritzer, little guy, and here's the fun part of it. This comes with water brush, we also put in a travel brush. It's just kind of hip and cool. Little guy like such, use it with any of your paints. You can take it to class, take it with this set, drop it in your pocket. You don't need to even have water in your water brush. And when you're done, it just pops back in and it's safe and secure. This is the mini set, probably our two most popular sets, but if you check it out, we've also got a set for somebody that wants to work with watercolor pencils, somebody that wants to do plain air, which it comes with a panel, so it's more of a, I'm gonna work outdoors uh, kind of effect. Um, we've also got an inking set, which has a larger set of, of these permanent markers, and we've got a giant set that has virtually everything we thought to throw in the bag. We filled the bag, so it's pretty cool. Anyway. Hopefully you like those ideas, some great starters, awesome gifts for yourself, and I hope you have fun. Thanks a lot.